Episode 222, Blind Shot. Aiden listened carefully to determine where each member of Richard's team was located. Using this information, he placed each member in his mental map. According to his calculations, Richard was approximately 50 feet southwest of him. Judging by the sound of his breathing, he was probably standing near the left-hand side of the bush in that area. Aiden quickly made a few more calculations. The wind speed is about 12 miles per hour, he thought. My shooting speed is 0.3 seconds. Richard's reaction speed is... A stream of information flowed through his brain like data on a computer screen. Complex calculus. Deduction ability, plus one. Current progress, one out of ten. Current level, beginner. Aiden opened his eyes. He was ready. He slowed his breathing and tensed the muscles in his arms. He was still in a crouching position behind a sandbag. Without standing up, he raised his rifle above his head. Richard saw the rifle appear above the sandbag where Aiden was hiding. Got him, he thought. He raised his rifle, braced it against his chest, and took aim. As soon as Aiden appeared, he'd take him out. But Aiden didn't appear. Only his rifle head poked up above the sandbag. Before Richard and the others could comprehend what was going on, Aiden fired a shot and withdrew the rifle. He'd never shown his face. Did he really just take a blind shot? Sarah thought. She shook her head and laughed. What did this boy expect? That he could just fire at random and actually hit someone? What an idiot. He'd just given away his position for nothing. Richard could see a paintball coming toward him. He was about to dodge, but then realized that it was in no danger of hitting him. It was heading for a bush five feet away. He relaxed and returned his gaze to the sandbag in the distance. What was Aiden thinking? Just as Richard fixed his eyes on the sandbag, the paintball Aiden had fired hit a branch on the bush nearby. The paintball then bounced back at an angle towards Richard. It all happened in an instant. Richard looked down at the paint splatter on his camo jacket. His eyes widened in disbelief. What? He said aloud. That's impossible. He looked around at his startled team members. How had Aiden managed to hit him? He must have got him by pure chance. What else could explain it? Crouching behind the sandbag, Aiden could hear Richard's cry of alarm. Gotcha, he thought to himself and smiled. Trick shot, shooting ability, plus one. After making a series of precise computations, Aiden had been able to eliminate the most powerful and skilled member of the opposing team with a single shot. Now only the four girls were left, and they posed much less of a threat. When the girls saw that Richard had been eliminated, they quickly lost confidence and scattered in all directions. In a matter of minutes, Aiden was able to shoot three of them. Now only Sarah was left. Where are you? She screamed in desperation. Come out! She was scared, but she steadied her voice as best she could. Come out and face me! But no matter how much Sarah screamed, Aiden didn't respond. He stayed hidden behind the sandbags. The building anticipation of attack was torture for Sarah. She felt like she was fighting a ghost. Was Aiden still behind the sandbags or had he moved? He could be anywhere by now. She gripped her gun with shaking fingers and spun around wildly, searching the trees. Every sound made her jump. Her face was pale and sweaty. Sarah couldn't bear it any longer. She charged at the sandbags, shooting wildly with her eyes closed. Ah! 